Hello and welcome to the fourth episode in our series on Ayurveda and its role in mental health and neurosciences. In the previous episodes, we understood some of the fundamental concepts related to Ayurveda and mental health, different mental health disorders and how they are defined, classified, their sim symptoms analyzed according to Ayurvedic principles and also its management and treatment. In this episode, we will try to understand something about lifestyle. As all of you know that lifestyle is something that defines our personality, our health and well-being. What is lifestyle according to Ayurveda and how this can be applied for good mental health practice? Come, let us meet our expert. When compared to modern medicine, Ayurveda gives utmost importance to healthy living as well as lifestyle. So, the very definition of swastha, that is health according to Ayurveda, involves an equilibrium of three dosha, that is vata, pitta, kapha in our body and the seven tissue elements of the body. And at the same time, equal importance is given to prasanna, atma, indriya and manaha, which is nothing but a healthy state of mind, soul as well as sense organs. So, for this, promotive and preventive measures are told in Ayurveda, which includes dinacharya, that is uh, the daily regimen and the seasonal regimen, that is rutucharya and various uh, dietetics and uh, moral codes and conducts are explained in Ayurveda, which will maintain the balance of these three dosha and thereby promoting the mental health. So, daily routine according to Ayurveda is called as Dinacharya. So, this Dinacharya includes various measures that have to be practiced on a daily basis. So, it starts from getting up early in the morning, so which is called as Brahmi Muhurte Uttishtet. So, this is the time between 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, the time of sunrise. So, this creates a sense of discipline in our life, which is directly related to one's mental health. So, uh, apart from this, there are various measures starting from getting up early in the morning, brushing the teeth and maintaining a personal hygiene. So, these are generally told for uh, physical health. So, when it comes to mental health, there are specific measures called as uh, Abhyanga, that is Shiro Abhyanga and Pada Abhyanga and Nasya Karma in this daily regimen. So, first one is head massage. So, which will improve uh, the circulation to the brain and it creates a sense of calmness and it will also relieve the stress. It will also improve the sleep. So, there is a unique procedure called Pada Abhyanga in Ayurveda. It helps in improving the sleep. Another procedure called Nasya Karma in Ayurveda, which is one among the Panchakarma procedure and it can also be practiced on a daily basis. So, according to Ayurveda, nose is a gateway of mind or brain. So, practicing Nasya on a daily basis will improve one's cognitive abilities. Also, it will improve uh, the brain function and also it can help in a positive mental health. According to Ayurveda, food and mind are directly related to each other. So, food what we consume are reflected in our behavior as per Ayurveda. So, there are various uh, dietetic rules and regulations are mentioned in Ayurveda as per one's own body constitution. So, these are called as Ashtavida Ahara Vishesha Ayatana. So, food should be warm and it should be freshly prepared and it should be conducive to one's body constitution and uh, the food should not be uh, creating any discomfort in the body like burning sensation or so. Then also food should not be eaten very fastly or very slowly. Then Ayurveda mentions uh, various dietetics which can be consumed on a daily basis such as red rice and uh, moong and uh, rock salt and cow's ghee and milk. So, all these help in uh, preventing uh, various illnesses uh, pertaining to mind as well as the body. So, when these dietetic rules are practiced properly and uh, food is taken according to one's own body constitution, it will act as a promotive factor for uh, good mental health. <music> the 
there are various principles of sleep mentioned in Ayurveda. There are various scattered references in Ayurveda classical text related to sleep. So, Ayurveda mentions physiology of sleep and uh, also disorders related to sleep and their treatment. So, according to Ayurveda, uh, when there is increase in kapha dosha, the person goes to sleep. So, the ideal time of sleep between 9 pm to 12 pm. So, Ayurveda has a unique concept of day sleep and night awakening. So, Ayurveda strictly prohibits night awakening as it aggravates vata and pitta dosha. Then, the day sleep is also generally contraindicated, but when it comes to day sleep, uh, it is indicated for people who are debilitated by illness and also pregnant ladies and children and elderly people and also in summer season, day sleep is indicated. Then, Ayurveda mentions that a healthy pattern of sleep is very much important to nourish the mind and also it brings mental tranquility and a healthy state of uh, mind and body. So, the physical exercise in Ayurveda is called as Vyayama. So, it is one among the daily regimen, Dinacharya in Ayurveda. So, Ayurveda recommends physical exercise on a daily basis and also according to one's strength, one has to practice the, this Vyayama. So, uh, when it comes to a person who is uh, debilitated uh, by illness, uh, he has to practice very mild form of Vyayama. And uh, there are also references in Ayurveda where overdoing of exercise will have a deteriorating effect on one's health. So, when it comes to mental health, this Vyayama will improve uh, lightness in the body as well as in the mind. And also, it improves one's metabolism, uh, thereby it removes the lethargy in the mind. So, these are mentioned in Ayurveda related to Vyayama. Yeah, when it comes to uh, this improving the longevity and uh, better mental health, there are two unique concepts mentioned in Ayurveda. The first one is Sadrata that has various moral and ethical codes and conducts and uh, another concept is Rasayana that has various nootropic herbs and uh, also uh, various formulations mentioned which will improve one's mental as well as physical health, thereby delaying the diseases or uh, delaying the process of aging. So, when it comes to Sadvritta, uh, it has uh, various uh, simple uh, advices like one has to respect the elders and uh, learn people and how to behave in a social setup, how to behave in an occupational setup and maintaining a balance uh, in ups and downs of life and uh, and not to uh, dis uh, disrespect anyone and uh, not to become too suspicious or uh, trust anyone blindly. So, all these measures are mentioned under Sadvrata. So, which will invariably, uh, which will ina invariably contribute for a positive mental health. So, uh, the another concept is uh, Rasayana, uh, which also includes Medhya Rasayana, uh, which is uh, which includes various uh, nootropic herbs and various formulations. There are various methods of preparations also. So all these, uh, when they are incorporated in our life, it will uh, improve the positive uh, mental health. Uh, also, uh, it will the prevent the various mental diseases. So in the current scenario of modern lifestyle. Uh, one can incorporate Ayurveda lifestyle measures for a better life. So, uh, to create this, one has to create an uh, environment or a living condition which will support the mental health and also allow a person to follow a proper Ayurveda lifestyle measures. So, uh, for this, one has to practice this Dinacharya and Rutucharya, that is seasonal regimen and also various dietetics according to one's own body constitution. So, all these can be practiced along with Sadvritta, that is moral and ethical uh, codes and conducts. So, when all these are practiced in a proper manner, this will be conducive for uh, positive mental health. Also, it will improve one's quality of life. This concludes the fourth episode in our series on Ayurveda in Mental Health and Neurosciences.
this episode dealt in detail about what kind of daily routine and other lifestyle practices one needs to follow for good physical and mental health. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.